Welcome back to Sita Chalet. I'm Sita, and today I have an awesome tip for you guys. Today's tip is going to consist of pomegranate. Yes, I've never used pomegranate before in a tip. So, pomegranate is good to eat, drink, because I have it in the tea. <laughs> it's so good. For those of you who don't drink tea, maybe try it. You may like it. There's so many different flavors, so many different types. And if you do have a plain tea, guess what? You can also squeeze a little bit of something else extra in it, like, you know, pomegranate. Um, I bought this tea already flavored with pomegranate, but I have pomegranate here. And if I just had a plain tea, a green tea, I would probably squeeze a little bit of pomegranate in it to make it green tea slash pomegranate tea, right? So keep that in mind. I love tea. It's very healthy for you. Okay. So today's tip is going to consist of four ingredients. It's going to have pomegranate, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and also lavender oil. And I'm going to tell you the benefits of the pomegranate as well as the lavender oil because I don't think I've ever used the lavender oil in any other tips either. Um, so I'll tell you the benefits of both of those things when we come back. And I'm also going to put it all together for you, okay? For the sake of time, I will not be applying it to my face, but I will apply this on my face later. And this is not a mask, it is a serum, okay? It's a pomegranate serum, okay? So you apply this only at night, and you're going to apply four drops. You're going to apply forehead, chin, cheek, cheek, and you're going to rub that in. Okay, before you go to sleep at night. And I would recommend if you apply moisturizer to your face at night, don't apply the moisturizer to your face at, uh, when you're going to use this because this is going to give you um, some moisture. It's going to uh, do a lot for your skin. And I'll get into that a little bit uh, later when I'm uh, explaining the benefits of it. So let us know what this does for you. If you try it and you like it, please comment. If you try it and you don't like it, please also comment. We want to hear from you. So please like us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can leave a comment as well on our website at sitachalet.com. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I have the pomegranate already cut up. See the juices there flowing? You have to be careful with this because this red <laughs> juice will get everywhere. You know, it may even stain. Um, so be careful of your cabinets and stuff when you're in the kitchen with the pomegranate because it's possible it could stain and leave it there and never come up, right? I cut it up and I, as I was cutting it, I was eating it because I love this stuff. It is so good. And so I started eating it. So I said, well, you know, I can't eat it all. I have to make a tip with this today. <laughs> So once I'm done with the tip, I'm going to eat this because it's so good to eat. Those of you who've never tried it, try it. You never know, you may like it. See those little seeds in there? See that? Those are seeds, right? See that little seed there? That's a seed, right? And so uh, what I do, it's pretty sloppy the way I eat it. I eat it over a sink and I spit, <laughs> it's a little bit of, it's juice, it's a juice inside that, and it's a little seed inside that, okay? Isn't that wonderful, Mother Nature, right? And so I eat it over the sink, and then I spit out the seeds in the sink, and I get, I just kind of bite into this, right? But my little granddaughter, she actually eats them one by one, so each his own. So I'm going to just take this seed, or this juice, this pomegranate seed with juice, and I'm going to squeeze that. Let you know, see how I did that? I squeezed it. And that's how I got this juice in this bowl, by squeezing it. Now, you can get the seeds the way you squeeze the juice out the seed, any way you want, as long as you get the juice out the seed. 
you can crush it with a spoon, a fork, whatever it is, a blender, whatever you want to do. Now, there is a pomegranate oil and there is a pomegranate powder. Now, the powder, I think, has some of the outer shell grind up in it, okay? Which is probably even better for you, better for your skin if you grind up the, the shell as well. And I'm going to squeeze another one. See that? I took it just like that and just squeeze, boop, and it burst open. And that little bitty seed inside, you don't eat that, okay? <laughs> Those of you who have never, never tried pomegranate, do not eat this seed right here, okay? That you toss. That's no good. That goes in the garbage, okay? So I did another one. And so that's, I don't know how many seeds that it took to even just get that amount, but probably a few, quite a few, right? So then I have my jojoba oil. And then I have my, sorry, I have my vitamin E oil. And I also have my lavender oil, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of jojoba oil. Oh, I forgot. Hold on one second. I'm going to get my measuring spoons here. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon, okay? And then I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. And if you don't have these uh, types of measuring tools, um, just use a regular spoon and just don't fill the spoon all the way. Okay, just do it like halfway and that's, that's your half because everybody don't have, uh, you know, different types of uh, utensils in their kitchen. And remember that I always say that in, you can make an inexpensive mask or serum um, at home, right at home. The, the ingredients can be right in your kitchen, right? I had the pomegranate already. Um, I've had this stuff as well, the lavender, and I also have the vitamin E and the jojoba oil. So you may want to, if you don't have these things, already at home, you may want to go out and purchase them. But I guarantee you, when you purchase them, you will purchase them at a very, very low price compared to um, some of the things on the market today that, you know, says it's going to um, rejuvenate the skin and do this and that and all these miracle uh, skin things, okay? So this is going to be liquid, okay? It's not going to be solid. It's not going to even get thick at all. So what I recommend is that if you have a, I do have a dropper because some oils come with the dropper. So I recommend just getting the dropper, pulling it in the dropper. I call it a dropper. I'm not sure of the, of the proper name for it, but uh, pull that up. If you don't have it, I recommend just taking your finger and just putting it in there. I'm going to, I'm going to mix that up a little bit more, even with my finger. Okay and taking your finger and just um, putting it in the in a serum and just applying that to those areas forehead both cheeks and chin okay and rub it in well it's not going to um it's going to smell good and it's going to mm, that smells good it's going to smell good and i guarantee you it's going to probably uh, work something <laughs> for your skin. I can just feel it, you know, because I know this is a miracle fruit. So those of you who already have beautiful skin already, those of you who um, have a youthful skin already, you still have to take care of that beautiful youthful skin and doing things to uh, having a skin regimen is going to help you to maintain and keep that beautiful, healthy, youthful, radiant glow, okay? But for those of you who have skin problems, bam, this is going to help as well. I'm going to tell you the benefits of pomegranate and as well as using lavender oil, okay? It comes in juice form as well. You can buy it at the local grocery store. You can get juice. You can use that if you want. I'm going to tell you the benefits of using pomegranate. It can work wonders for your skin. 
whether you're drinking it, eating it, or putting it on the skin. It can heal lines and freckles on being used regularly. This fruit contains polyphenoids that counter free radicals and increase blood flow. Now, I talk about free radicals here a lot on Cita Chalet because I know that it's very important to fight against that because we encounter free radicals every day in our daily lives all day long. And so in order to um, have to use uh, things on our skin to keep it healthy and beautiful and wonderful, right? Radiant. Okay, also pomegranates can prevent as well as treat skin damages caused by ultraviolet rays of the sun. Now, those of you who say, well, I don't have to worry about the sun because I have uh, darker pigmentation, um, you do have to worry about the sun, okay? Everybody has to worry about the sun. It's just those who have lighter skin, they are more susceptible uh, to have uh, damage from the sun. The sun can damage skin, okay? If you're in the sun a lot, please, please, please use a sunblock, okay? Sunblock is going to help to keep your skin the way it should be because the sun damages, keep this in mind, all skin. It can damage it, okay? So go out, if you're gonna spend lots of time in the sun, put sunblock on. Put a sunblock on your children, okay? Because they do have sunblock for children. It contains phonochic acid and omega-5 fatty acid that hydrates and prevents moisture loss. And that is a great thing because you do want to prevent um, moisture loss as much as possible because that with the moisture keeps your skin more youthful, radiant, glowing, and also can remove dark spots, okay? which is a great thing. It will help to brighten the skin, okay? So do it the natural way. If you're going to do it, do it the natural way. And over time, it's going to gradually lighten your skin, okay? Do not damage your skin by going out buying products that's going to harm your skin. You may in the end have the lighter skin, the result of what you want to achieve, but you're going to damage your skin in a process and you're going to maybe end up hurting yourself and having health problems down the line. So please, please be careful, guys. Okay, lavender oil, okay, is a great, great oil as well. It actually um, reduces anxiety. Um, it will help those who have insomnia. It also helps with depression. There's a study that says that. And it also helps with restlessness. Those of you who can't really rest really well at night or sleep good at night. So this is a good thing to rub on your body, even just by itself, the lavender oil. Just rub this on your body by itself and you're going to hopefully, you know, get some more rest and fall asleep very well. Soothes the skin. It also moisturizes the skin. So it not only helps you to sleep and uh, rest and um, help with depression, it also will help to moisturize your skin. Um, it also fights antibacteria and it will kill bacteria that penetrate your pores, okay? So lavender oil does a lot of things on its own. Pomegranate, does a lot of things on its own by itself. So if you just want to put uh, apply pomegranate to your face, feel free to just do that. You want to do this by itself, this by itself, jojoba oil. I love that name, jojoba, jojoba. I can say that all day, jojoba, okay? And vitamin E oil. You can apply either one of these things by itself to your skin, and that's going to help your skin, okay? so. The inexpensive way to achieve beautiful, healthy, radiant skin at home. Oh, I just can't get enough of eating it, drinking it, <laughs> putting it on my skin. So um, those of you who have tried it, you know what I'm talking about. But those of you who have never tried it, give it a try. If you don't want to drink it or eat it, apply it to your skin. You're going to get great results, okay? I recommend 
Shea It Now Silky Body Moisturizer. I use it, I swear by it, I use it morning and night and whenever I can, you know? So, anytime your face hits water, your body hits water, when you come out of that water, add moisturizer, okay? Do not say, well, I added some moisturizer this morning, I'm okay. No, no, no. You always have to add moisturizer, whether you're playing in water or washing in water. You have to add moisturizer, okay? But it has to be a great moisturizer, and it should be all natural. So if you're not completely satisfied with the moisturizer that you're using now, try Shea It Loud Silky Body Moisturizer. I will have the link at the bottom of the screen, okay? You can go there, you can purchase it. It's not expensive. I, I don't think it's expensive. So, and actually a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to like re-up uh, for a while after you, know, after you purchase one jar, even a small jar will last you a long time. So always remember to apply moisturizer to your skin at night before you go to sleep. It's going to help to penetrate the skin. It works better at night and your body's relaxed and it works its magic overnight okay so morning noon night in between i hope you enjoyed the tip today until next time blossom beauty babies keep it sexy keep it radiant